Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. This video is part of a series on getting you up and running with Photo Raw 2019, and this one talks about exporting your photos. We need to export photos when we want to share them with friends and family, share them to social media, put them on your website. Unrun Photo Raw is a non-destructive editor, and so all of the changes that you make to your photos do not affect your original digital negative, and that's great. But when you want to share all those changes with other people, we need to export it as another file format, and you can export from any module in Photo Raw using the export panel. I happen to be in Browse right now, and just down here in the lower right corner, you'll see Export. We click on that, and we get this pop-up menu on the right-hand side. Now there are a lot of options in here and you can do a lot of things with export, including resizing, adding watermarks, setting up tiling if you want to do like a triptych type of print, a whole bunch of different options here. I'll run through them quickly and I also want to show you how to create an export preset. So for common operations like sharing to the web, you can quickly choose from a list, have all of your settings populated, and then move on with the export. Now things I set all the time is my photo size, the file type, and where I want the export to go, the location. For the photo size, I will always choose long edge, and for the web, I'll do like something about 2,000 pixels on the long side, and let the resize algorithms do the resizing for me. File type of JPEG and a quality of 80 is usually pretty good for the web, as well as sRGB. And that's a fine destination. Before I go ahead and export, I'm going to save this as a preset so that I can call it back up later on the next time I want to send something out and use it on the web. So in the presets right here at the bottom, I'll save new preset and I'll just call it export JPEG for web. And the next time I want to save a photo for the web, I'll pull up that preset hit export and I'm off to the races. Let me show you the rest of these panels here so what they look like. You can add watermarking, so you can enable watermarking, choose your logo, decide where you want that to go in your photo, and adjust its size and how much of a margin it can have on the corners, or if you're putting in the center, how large it is, its opacity. You can do output sharpening, so if you're sharpening for the screen or if you're preparing something for print, you can do sharpening with the export panel. You can do tiling and gallery wrap. Let's get a little more screen real estate here. Tiling is so you can create triptychs. If I said I want to have an 8 by 10, uh, but I want, uh, I don't know, let's say I want to have uh, three tiles and the height, I don't know, I'm going to do a 5. I'm not sure what that's going to do for me here. But I'd get lines like this, and I can adjust these to say, all right, I want uh, my width maybe to be 2 inches so that I have more panels. You can start adjusting these things so you can line up and print out segments of your photo and have individual files with each of those segments so you can send them printing. If you don't like tiling and you want to do a gallery wrap, we can do that. Let's hide tiling and show gallery wrap. And here you get some options for how much of the reflection or uh, thickness you want around the edges. Let's say I needed to have a one inch wrap and I can either reflect, I could reflect it soft, you know, so it gets softer around the edges. So all this stuff on the outside, this is what would bend around the edges of a canvas. Oh, you know, you can just do uh, stretching it out, which would be taking the edge of your photo and then just wrapping it around the edge there. You've got a lot of different options there. You can change the opacity of those edges. Whatever your uh, canvas manufacturer or canvas printing shop wants, you can do here in the export panel. And last but not least, you could also rename your files on export. And you can build up a file name template using a few different fields here if that's something that you want to do. And the last little bit I want to show you about the export panel is exporting in the foreground or in the background. Down at the very bottom, if you hold, press and hold on the export button, you get export in background or export now. And I like to choose export in background. That way, as it's exporting, you can see this little progress bar down here. That happens in the background, and I can move on with processing other photos, rating, or whatever other work I need to do in On One Photo Raw. So that is how exporting works in Photo Raw. Again, you can call up the export panel from within Browse or within Edit, wherever you are in Photo Raw at any time. When you realize you need to export something, the functionality is right there for you. My name is Scott Davenport. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.